Grade 6 Math, number 9.3, Rules for Adding Integers. When we add in integers with the same signs, we add the absolute values of the add-ins, and then we use the sign of the add-ins for the sum. Remember, absolute value is its distance from 0, okay? So the absolute value for negative 2 is 2, and the absolute value for negative 3 is 3, we add the 2 and the 3, their absolute values, and get 5, and we use whatever sign is shared with the add-ins. They both have a negative, so we use a negative, see? So remember, these are add-ins. What you add together, and the sum is the answer, okay? When we have a different sign for each one, like a positive 2 and a negative 5, we subtract the lesser value so the absolute value of 2 is 2, and the absolute value of negative 5 is 5, because it's 5 away from 0. And then we subtract the lesser one. We take the 2 from the 5, and we get a 3, and we use the sign of the bigger absolute value. And 5 is bigger than 2, so we use the negative sign that the 5 has, see? The absolute value of negative 2 is 2, and the absolute value of 5 is 5. We subtract the lesser one. 2 from 5 is 3, and we use the sign of the greater absolute value, which is this one, so it's positive, see? All right, I'm going to make this a little clearer. We've got a diver here. He's on this tropical island, and he's diving, and the water surface level is zero, okay? Now, he's three feet below the surface right here, and he dives seven feet deeper, so now he's at 10 feet below the surface, see? So negative 3 plus negative 7 is negative 10. We had negative 3 chips. We had negative 7 added to it. So now we have 10 negative chips, see? Negative 25 plus negative 13 is negative 38. The absolute value of this is 25, and the absolute value of this is 13. We take the like signs, see, they both have the same sign, and we add the absolute values together, the 25 and the 13, we get 38, and we use the sign that they're sharing, see? So when they have the same sign, we use the sign that they're sharing, so it's negative 38. Okay, the absolute value of negative 12 is 12, and the absolute value of negative 8 is 8, They've got the same sign, they're both negatives, so we add them together, we get 20, and we use the sign that they're sharing. They're both sharing negative signs, so it's negative 20, see? All right, we're going to do this last. So I want you to remember, when they have the same sign, like here, you find the absolute values, okay, their distance from zero, and then whatever sign they share, because they have the same sign. Whatever sign they're sharing is a sign that's going to be used with the sum, okay? The absolute value of negative 12 is 12, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. We add that together and get 15. They both have a negative sign that they're sharing, so it's negative 15, okay? All right. Now, we're going to find the sum when we have different signs, okay? So here's our diver again. The diver is now 10 feet below the water level. See, the water level is at zero. And he went diving, and he's at 10 feet below the water level, right down here. And he's going to swim up 8 feet, negative 10 plus 8. So he's going to go up 8 feet in the water, but he's still at negative 2. See that? So we had 10 negative chips. We added 8 positive chips. And what happened was it canceled out all those and left the two, po the two negative ones. See that? These all got canceled out and left only the two negative chips. Okay? All right. I'm going to find the absolute values for the add-ins. We've got negative 27 plus 5. The absolute value of negative 27 is 27. It's 27 spaces from 0. The absolute value of 5 is 5. Because they have different 
signs, we're going to subtract the lesser one, the 5, from the 27. We're going to get 22. And then we're going to take the sign of the greater or bigger absolute value. The 27 is bigger, so we're going to take its sign. So we have negative 22. All right, so we had 27 negative chips, okay? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. We're adding 5 positive chips. So these cancel each other out and leave 5, 10, 15, 22 negative chips. See? So when you have different signs, you subtract the smaller absolute value. You find their absolute value. We have negative 10 and 4. The absolute value of negative 10 is 10. It's 10 spaces from 0. 4 is 4 spaces from 0. We subtract the smaller one. Okay? So we take 4 from the 10 and we get 6. But we use the sign of the larger add end. See? And 10 is larger, so we're going to use its sign, which is negative. All right? So now let's see if we can do these. Which one is bigger? Which one is greater? Okay? Is it going to be a negative 17 plus 3 or 17 plus negative 3? Now let's think about this. Think about our diver. He's 17 feet below the water surface, and he swims up 3 feet. Where is he now? He's 14 feet below the water level, isn't he? Because he was 17 feet below, and he swam up 3, so now he's at 14. Well, what if you were above 17, and then we took away a negative 3? Then you would be at a positive 14, wouldn't you? So this is going to be greater, all right? Let's do it the absolute value way, all right? The absolute value of negative 17 is 17. The absolute value of 3 is 3. They have different signs. So we're going to take the lesser one away and make it 14. 3 from 17 is 14, and we're going to take the sign of the bigger one, which was negative. So we're negative 14, see? All right, let's do absolute value away with this one, all right? The absolute value of negative 8 is 8, and the absolute value of 4 is 4. They have different signs. This one's negative and this one's positive, okay? So we're going to take the lesser one away from the greater one. 4 from 8 is 4, right? And we're going to take the sign of the bigger one. So this one is negative 4. Let's see what this one is. They've got different signs. We're going to find their absolute value. The absolute value of 8 is 8, and the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. We're going to take the lesser one away from the greater one. 8 take away 4 is 4. And we're going to take the sign of the bigger one. Well, 8 is positive, so this is positive 4. So which one's bigger, negative 4 or positive 4? Oh, the positive 4 is bigger. Okay? Let's do this one. And in fact, I'm going to change colors so that it doesn't look so confusing for you. Okay? All right. We've got a negative 5 plus 7. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. The absolute value of 7 is 7. They have different signs. So we're going to take the lesser one away from the greater one. We're going to take 5 from 7, and we're going to get 2. We're going to take the sign of the bigger one. 7 is positive, so we got a positive 2. All right? All right, let's do this one. The absolute value of 5 is 5. The absolute value of negative 7 is 7. It's how far away from zero it is. They have different signs, so we're going to take the smaller one from the larger one, and we're going to get two. But we're going to take the sign of the bigger one. Seven's bigger, so the two's going to be negative. Which is bigger, positive two or negative two? Ah, the positive two's bigger. All right, let's try this one. Now we've got negative six plus a negative three. Let's do the absolute values. The absolute value of negative 6 is 6. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. They have the same sign. And our rule is we add the absolute values and keep the signs that they're sharing. So we're going to add these and get a 9. They share negative signs, so it's going to be negative 9. Okay? Let's do this one. The absolute value of negative 6 is 6. It's 6 away from 0. The absolute value of 3 is 3. We're going to, because the signs are different now, we got to take the lesser one from the bigger one. 6 take away 3 is 3. And we take the sign of the bigger one. 
6 is bigger than 3, okay? We take the, the absolute we take the sign of their absolute value, the absolute value ones, okay? The sign of the bigger absolute value, okay? So this becomes a negative 3 because 6 is bigger than 3. So which is bigger, negative 9 or negative 3? Which one is bigger? Actually, a negative 3 is bigger. It, think of it as owing $9 or owing $3, which is better? It would be better to owe less money, wouldn't it be? Okay, this is more in debt. This is a bigger hole than that one, okay? So, negative 3 is bigger than negative 9, all right? So those are the rules for adding integers. When the signs are the same, you get the absolute values of the add-ends, you add them up, and then you use the sign that they're sharing. When the signs are different, you get the absolute values, and you take the littler one away from the bigger one, you do subtraction, and then you use the sign of the bigger one, okay? That's it. It's not that hard. Think of digging the holes and making hills, or think of your negative and positive chips, or think of the diver, okay? I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. Bye.